And what's up, everybody? And welcome back to Reacted Indie Tonight, episode four of season three of Reazi Aro. Um, let me just boom. This is the comments for episode three. So the situation is as follows: We are currently in like a um, I almost called it like a tower defense situation where we got like the four water station or like the four towers, and all of the bishops went into them, and we gotta go get them. We gotta go rescue the princess from the castle, so to say, because uh, uh Regulus got a. It's not Regulus. Regulus. <laughs> Regulus got uh, Amelia. So that's basically the uh, the TLDR. Uh, comments wise, so apparently we, remember, we get the pink cube subs instead of the normal subs, right? Because sometimes people will go in and like edit my subs a little bit before I watch it. So the line that they changed is say, is Subaru saying Amelia is my waifu, which is crazy. I'm, I like that change. I do like that change because I feel like we're at season three at this point. I feel like it makes sense that Subaru would kind of grow out of the neat terminology, right? Because, like, the, I get the, the, you know what I mean? Like, the neat terminology makes a lot of sense season one because it's like, oh, he just came from the modern world where he, like, still is considering everything as kind of, like, gamified a little bit, right? Like, he's using that kind of terminology. What's my, what's my power going to be? All that, all that stuff. But, like, at this point, we are so beyond that. Like, we are fully immersed in this world. So... I think it makes sense for Subaru to start, like, treating it kind of more seriously or, like, more normally, right? Where he's, like, using non, non, uh, neat terminology or whatnot. I'd be kind of cu cu curious what the, uh, the light novel does with that, right? Um, <laughs> the rabbits went up his ass and ate him from the inside out. There's no competing with that death. <sighs> it really is. Okay, so that's a separate question that we were talking about, like, it, which death is worse, the hang, hanging one or the, the rabbit's one? Would you not just go into shock? Like, like, how, if the rabbit's... How fast does it take for rabbits to eat a person, right? And do you go into shock? Because if it's like, oh, ooh, now I'm in shock, then that's one thing. But, like, I feel like getting hung while your mind is getting womple-womped is so bad because, like, like, you don't even get the... You don't even get to, like, depersonal... You don't even get... Like, your brain doesn't escape from that. Your brain is intimately evolved the entire time. But I understand your argument. And honestly, it's really funny to be playing, like, the Pain Olympics with Subaru. Because, like, it's... He's the only contestant. <laughs> That's actually crazy. But yeah, so, uh, GG for Subaru. So, this was a cool, interesting thing. Um, the ability that Subaru and Betty uses is apparently a little different. Or, well quote-unquote very different in um as opposed from in the novel where in the novel it's more like a field that wraps around them that gives them invincibility where here it looks like some sort of like shadow step or phasing um and i'd agree i'd agree that it did look like a some sort of like shadow step type beat um but the important thing is like when they used emm which i guess is the ability name uh regulus's hand didn't harm super he just stopped upon hitting his chest right what's interesting about that is that it's very similar to Regulus's ability, and that's, I think, something that this comment says, right? Subaru thinks upon seeing this that Regulus's authority is similar to a permanent EMM, um, which is basically that same kind of barrier. So, of course, that's completely different than um, what it seems like is happening in the anime, because in the anime, the shadow step kind of thing, like, like Regulus isn't shadow stepping because stuff is hitting his barrier, right? Like when all the carriages like came at him and they all exploded, I kind of took that as them hitting some sort of force and then the force like kind of rebounded onto them, right? As opposed to phasing through him, you know? So I think that's interesting to note. Um, it also in the novel would be another example of Subaru gaining an ability that's similar to one of the authorities because obviously Subaru has the authority of sloth. So if he has created an ability with Betty that's similar to Regulus's ability. That'd be another notable, like, authority-type situation, or, like, a similarity to an authority with Subaru. Because um, I think some people are kind of guessing that Subaru's going to end up, like, collecting a bunch of them, you know, like, collecting a bunch of abilities low-key. Um, and that's, that's an idea I've heard thrown around a little bit. So, kind of interesting. But, um, fun thing with Lai is that he, that they, I should, I guess I should say, uses exclusively, um, plural pronouns, we, us, are, uh, which makes a lot of sense given that there seems to be two of them, right? Uh, yeah, so that's cool. Ram, ram, ram. Garfield like a shonen protagonist is absolutely true. Oh yeah, a couple people are saying this. Capella, last name Lagunica, which is the surname of the royal family, and she also has the same look that are the traits of the royal family that felt 
also possesses, which is why uh, people thought, or like why freaking Reinhard thought that felt was part of the, was part of, was important. Like, okay, this is the thing, guys. All this like royal kidnapping stuff, the, this idea kind of like hit me like a, like a pound of bricks because... Capella, this, this like introduces the uh, the possibility that Capella and Felt are like related. Isn't that just crazy? And like, I guess I, I didn't even really, I haven't really thought about Felt being connected to the royal family, but like it makes sense. Cause I guess they kind of said that, yeah, at some point. I don't remember that very specifically, but I will believe chat on that. Um, But I mean, Felt obviously is like a slum rat. Like her parents could be anyone, you know? So it, she could be part of the royal family. I think that's like the entire point of her being like in the the royal um, like the uh, the election, right? Not the entire point, but that's like one of the main points, right? Uh, Felt, of course, was suspected of being the kidnapped royal from fifteen years ago in season one, right? So yeah, that that right there is what I'm referring to. Um, so to say that Capella might also be that, in, like instead of Felt, or that Capella might be like another one or something, um, is really interesting. How did you get? Ooh, because what if Capella's the one, and then Capella got kidnapped and then given the, the authority of lust? I mean, that's just a crazy situation to be in, right? And it is, like, she wants to... Ugh, it kind of makes sense, because she wants to dominate everything, right? She's dominating animals, and it sounds like she wants to dominate people. That's kind of like... Like a queen. Is that not queen-type queen, queen type behavior? Like a royal person, like, has, has all their subjects? I mean, Capella's kind of doing that with, like, the authority of lust. So... There, there's there's kind of something going on there, it feels like, but it's, I don't even know what to do with any of that, right? Um, Because we don't know, we don't know. We don't have information other than like two maybes. I mean, Capella very specifically might be, um, but it's like how many people have gold, gold hair and red eyes? You know what I mean? It's probably pretty rare, so they probably both are somehow connected, <laughs> but I don't know. Um, the witch's remains isn't specified, but we know it can't be Satella or Echidonia. Satella is alive and sealed in a desert, and Echidonia's remains were in the sanctuary, so there are five options, the other, the other ones. Um, I didn't know this. Satella is alive and sealed in a desert? I didn't know she was sealed in a desert. I didn't even really, like, I kind of thought her soul was just kind of doing its thing, floating around, and I thought that she was in more, like, ephemeral state, right? And I guess I was thinking that because, like, didn't she, like, take over Amelia in season two, like, to some degree, and then had, like, that conversation, a couple conversations with Subaru? So I kind of thought she wasn't, like, like, how could she do that if she's still alive? That's really worrying to me. I guess because she's sealed. So maybe she has, like, a living body, but she's, like, sealed, and so she's, like, trying to, like, her, only her soul has, or, like, some sort of energy can, like, escape the seal or something. I didn't know she was alive, though. So that's, uh... That's a worrying, a worrying situation. Um, but yeah, so that, that kind of goes along with this. Um, or, or no, 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 wait, this one. So these are the, about the witch's deaths, which would have been in the last episode of season two, part one. So um, the deaths are, or like the, the, con the, the information we were given on the different witches is, so Taylor was driven mad because of the witch factor. Okay, that seems, that seems good. Minerva died of insanity, caught in a trap. Okay, interesting. Maybe, maybe that's why, like, because Satila can't have killed all the other witches if at least one was killed in, in the city's trap, right? So the question is, which one is caught in the trap, right? So it's either Minerva, Minerva, because died of insanity, caught in a trap, right? Caught in a trap. Um, Carmilla perished in a sea of flames. Daphne wanted to taste, and well, wanted to, wait, wasted to death amid an ocean of sand. Typhon drowned in a flood, so I think it's either Minerva or Typhon. And then Sekhmet died in a waterfall, and Echidona was just chilling. So, either Minerva as being caught in a trap, or Typhon as drowned in a flood, are the remains of in the city. I would kind of lean towards Typhon, just because died of insanity sounds like... Like, the trap that the city does... Well, I, I guess I don't know what the, what the trap is. I assume it just floods you and kills you. Which, you know, because it's like, that's the entire point of the city is that like, you can like, it's in the water and then water can come in and that's a flood and floods kill you. So, so that would make the most sense, right? Like died of insanity caught in a trap sounds like you've been trapped and then you like sat there for a really long time and then you went crazy and then you died of insanity, right? Which would be, that sounds like you were there for a long time to, to have the time to die of insanity, right? So that makes me think Typhon, but it could be Minerva. All right, cool. So that's, but why do we care about that? 
Why, why does the witch's cult care about the remains of either Tyvon or Minerva? Like, that, that has nothing to do with Satela. I mean, they're both witches, but like, yeah, so it's like a bunch of them. I, so that, I don't know what they want from that. I mean, what, you want to you wanna bring back one of these hoes? I don't, I don't get it, man. Um, Regulus feels like the type of guy to whip out the sovereign citizen argument. That's really funny to me because he's specifically saying like, I have the right to do all these things. It's like, bro, who gave you that right? All right, are you claiming like natural human rights? Or is it like that the, the nation gave you the rights? Like, what's your claim? I want to just sit down with Regulus and talk about it. I want to I want to go down his freaking pipeline, bro. I don't know if I said this last episode, but like one of my, one of my theories for how we're going to beat Regulus, and this is kind of true. No, I think I did say this. Um, I don't remember though. I'm going to repeat it. Uh, is that like Regulus, I don't know if Regulus' ability, I think I did say this, Regulus' ability, um, his authority, I don't know if it's connected to his yammering or not, because he keeps talking about rights and stuff to like justify his authority, but like, does his talk about rights, does that actually have to do with his authority? Because is there a world that we could debate Regulus, and if we win the debate, his ability goes away? You know what I mean? If we can convince him that he doesn't actually have the rights he's claiming to have, then does he lose the authority that protects him? I have zero idea, but I think that would be really funny. Um, I would probably say no, but I think it would be really funny. So who, who, who could say, right? Um, let me skim this. Okay. Oh, wow. That was a flashbang. I didn't see that on my initial, my initial read. If Sirius can sink emotions, then she can absolutely sink the horny. Oh, Whew. oh man. I hate that you're right. Wait. Oh my goodness. Wait, she's actually the best one. Okay. That actually, are we going to get more serious hip shots is true. Dude. Wait. Okay. She's the best one because she's obviously going to be so horny if you're trying to make a move happen. And then she sinks you up with her and you also feel each other's like emotions and so, like, you'd be feeling all the horny, all the love, all the lust, all of those emotions for each other. And then you can, like, sink and then, like, do the same, like, um, positive feedback loop. In the same way that uh, Subaru and the child went crazy uh, out of fear, you and her can go crazy out of, like, horny overload, bro. Oh, my goodness. And the entire time, her hips are on you. That's crazy. Wait, that's actually OP. Oh, my goodness. Wait, can, and you can... Okay, and I might be wrong for this, but, like... Low key, you can sync physical things too. Because when you get cut in half, that was synced up with everybody. So if I'm like treating, if I'm like doing, if I'm like, um, if me and uh, Sirius are like, do it, are like, um, if things are happening, then like, whatever she feels, I would feel, right? And whatever I feel, she would feel. So like, it would be both a mental lust feedback loop and a physical pleasure feedback loop. Okay, Subaru, I have a new idea. Screw the plan. We got to go talk to Sirius. All right. We got we to gotta do some experimentation. Um, wow. That's crazy. This is true. Oh, yeah. The thing I want to respond to here. I think there's just one more gluttony. I think there's just the two of them. But I have no reason to think that other than the OP with, like, the reflection. Um, but I don't Who Who could say? Who could say? Um, I thought this was funny. This is a funny line. Is there anything else I was even want to say here? Maybe Sirius might not be able to soul wash spirits, which might be why she wanted um, a piece of the beetle goose pie. That would make sense. I think that would make sense because we haven't seen it with Beatrice. So, you know, that makes sense. Um... Oh, yeah. And I needed to get mad at this. Okay, so a lot of people, a lot of people were talking about Mimi. All right. Pink cubed in season one. I hate Mimi. Get her out of here. How do you feel about your favorite king character Mimi now? Mimi is a kitten human. She's a demi-human, specifically a Kitten human. Her entire race is around that size. <sighs> okay. A kitten is not a species of animal. A kitten is a baby cat. Okay? So why is she a kitten human instead of a cat human? Why are there a, why is there a specific demi-human race for a young animal? How does that make any sense? How did this appear? Okay, how did demon humans even appear? What was it some sort of human experimentation or something? Wait, did they talk about that in season two? Loki, they talked about that in season two and I forgot. But like, like, what did you do to make a kitten specifically? And it, it's like, oh, 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 it had kitten DNA or it had cat DNA, but it was a kitten. So it made a kitten human. That doesn't make sense. That doesn't make any sense. You can bang a 40 year old woman or a 25 year old woman 
Guess what? The kid is still going to grow up to be a, like, the same thing. A human. It's not gonna be a younger human because you banged a younger woman, all right? And I know that's a crazy thing to bring up when the word kitten's in the room, so I'm sorry, but, like, I'm the one that's trying to make this make sense. <laughs> you know what I mean? Mimi, Mimi gets a pass right now. I, Mimi, listen, I'm a little bit racist towards kitten humans. I think that's just the situation, okay? And maybe I'm proud of that. Okay, maybe I'm proud of that. Maybe that's an okay thing to be. Mimi, as far as kitten humans go, gets a pass. Okay, that's a little crazy. That's a little crazy. But, but yeah, she's, she's chill with Garfield. I just, what she is, like, on a meta layer, I don't approve of. I don't like. I think it's weird. I think it's strange. But when it, we when we when we let go of the the fact that she was a written character and was designed as a kitten human, if we just let go of all that and I just look at her character, it's like okay, you're fine, you're good, we we're chill, all right. You helped my boy Garfield. That's enough for me, okay. I don't know if I like your squeaky voice, but hey, a lot of people got squeaky voices in the show. That's okay, all right. We're gonna let it slide. Uh, it was a good. It was actually a good scene though. It was a good scene, especially reading the novel segment. Um. I really, I really liked that. And then, okay, um, Garfield and Frederica were both children of sexual assault from different fathers. I read all this. So basically, um, Garfield's mom has the worst life. Uh, apparently even the author himself posted, posted a tweet where he said that she was the unluckiest character in this story, so it's pretty hardcore. Okay, uh, not to play the pain Olympics, but like Subaru's pretty unlucky, okay? He's going through, like, like, I don't know if I want to, yeah, I'm not, I don't know. I shouldn't play pain Olympics. Pain Olympics is a bad sport. I don't like that sport. Um, I'm just saying there's contenders, okay? She did get it pretty rough, though, it, it does seem. I mean, yeah, having, like, a children of sexual assault's pretty, pretty absolutely horrible, and then losing your memory, and then that kind of sucks. But at least she's kind of happy with her new life, yeah? And she doesn't even, she doesn't even remember all the trauma, which isn't mean that that's okay, or that, like, it didn't hurt her, or that there's nothing, like, deep within her, you know? But at least she can somewhat have a normal life, right? Um, so like, uh, also since Frederick is a half sibling, he feels love for the kids as well. He just doesn't want to tarnish the happiness her mother has finally gotten since it's kind of a blessing. She doesn't have to live with her WB's children as constant reminders of her past as a slave slash sexual, sexual assault victim or better yet doesn't remember her terrible past in its, terrible past in its entirety. Yeah, basically, basically that right there. That's pretty much it. Um, but yeah, so that really sucks. Uh, unlucky, uh, the memory losing thing, I guess is kind of a good thing if we really think about it. Um, and then there was like one more thing I wanted to talk about this Just just kind of a, a breakdown of each of the different si um, uh, Archbishops and like a conception of love the one that I liked because I, I was having trouble with gluttony um, I like the idea of like lie is starving for love And so eats people's names and memories to grasp love or they see love as being satiated Therefore the sin of gluttony. I just really like the word satiated when it comes to um, trying to figure out why gluttony would be attached to love uh, I think that's a really good word choice, right? Because it's like satiated. I don't know. I just like the word. I don't even have like a deeper. I can't even like cook on that. I'm not going to lie. Uh, and then also this, like Pandora, which of vanity, all of her statements involve, I believe, blank. So she loves herself and her version of reality is like, like reflects that. And so that would make sense as like a self-love, right? And then melancholy is just in despair. So he doesn't like love, right? Yeah. So I, I really like the love, the love angle. I think it... Even Pandora, bro, it actually, I think, works really well. Because um, I would assume, like, I mean, she's the Witch of Vanity, right? So surely, right? Um, but yeah, it's also so funny that Mel Hector is just a dude for some reason. You know what I mean? He, like, the rest of them are witches, but he's just the one warlock. This freaking guy, man. But yeah, anyways. <laughs> um, you are probably thinking, like, oh, we're going to jump into the episode. We're actually not. We're going to jump into Season 3, Episode 1, Break Time. Because the first three break, t break times have been translated. So we're going to watch the break times. All right. Episode three or uh, season three, episode one, break time. Um, we're going to just binge these real quick and then jump into the actual episode in a three, a two, a one. Bang. Do I have my subtitles on you? Yeah? I did not. Oh my goodness, it's muted. It's loud. Wait, I missed it all. Back to the start. All right. Three, two, one. Bang. There it is. Night talks with the sleeping demon. That's really depressing. You got that? Hey, you got that, Betty? Sorry. Bet 
Petra! Okay, stop trying to spit wisdom, bro. We just started the conversation. Like a good mom and dad? Weird. Super weird. <laughs> super weird. Super weird. You don't call. Don't do that role play. Oh, okay, I get it. Calling Petra mature after that is also weird, but we're gonna let it slide. Cause that wasn't that weird, but like, okay. Mom and dad is super locked in. Alright. Whoa. It's a vice to want beyond your means. Why do they keep trying to spit bars at me, bro? So I shall indulge him. All right, good shit. I like that. I like that. Provocative. I wonder if she can hear it. Sometimes like coma people apparently can. You know. Huh? He's hallucinating. That's depressing. Bro, I thought this was supposed to be break time. I thought this was supposed to be lighthearted. That's just sad. Wait, aw. Why did they do that? Okay. Um, only thing I have to say about this break time. You know what I have to say about this break time? Why do they keep trying to spit bars at me, bro? What did Super say right at the start? That was crazy. That was crazy. He immediately is like, you see, Mimi is actually engaging in deep consideration with Beatrice's value or some, some nonsense. Look, this line here, ready? Look at this, look at this, look at this. She looks kind of scared, doesn't she? Well, you see, people grow by stepping outside. They're like, super shut up, okay? It's not that serious, man. Um, also, I had the thought randomly in the middle of this that, um, so gluttony, there's two of them at least, right? And we know that they've had two different abilities at least because Krush had her memory eaten, but everyone's memory of Rem got eaten. So those are two similar but distinct abilities. What if each of the gluttonies has a different way of eating so like what if instead of lie as just the one of him what if he didn't eat crucia's memories and rem like rem you know what i mean but what if he only like let ate crucia's memories and then the other one had the ability to eat rem from everybody's like consciousness right what if they're different in that way who would who, who knows that could be a that could be a thought i just had that in the middle when i was thinking about rem being um uh in a coma all right Episode two, break time. Three, two, one, bang. What are they trying to get Petra to do? I'm about to lose it. Amelia party struggles. Okay. Frederica. What is Roswell trying to get you to do? It is funny, they're just having their own maid arc when all the nonsense is happening in this city right now. There should be another show about their slice of life. I don't know if I'd watch it, but like... Oh, I see, okay. <clears throat> Yo, they keep trying to get deep, bro. Oh, I understand the full weight of my words. <laughs> nah, she's figuring it out. She's figuring out how to, how to do her maid stuff. 
That's true. It's like being at McDonald's. You can't speak bad about McDonald's while you're work. Well said. You can while you're on clock, you can't be spitting nonsense because it reflects the company. So she's saying, I'm clocking out. I'm clocking out. I need to go complain. Okay, I get it. I get it now. You're still stuck on steaming everything, bro. That's all she knows how to do. Ram, we gotta learn how to do some other moves. Dang! Did she just call Ram unlovable? That's just rude. Neglect yourself, one. Dude, they're so serious, bro. Aw. Aw, wait, that's kind of cute. She specifically was like, I'll take care of my room in Rem's room. Wait, that's actually cute. She took responsibility for Rem's room specifically. Aw. That was so sweet. Okay, okay. Dude, actually, they could do a slice, they could do an entire slice of life of them just, like, screwing around as maids, bro. I, I know y'all would watch that. I would maybe watch it. I'd watch an episode, all right? I'd see if it, I'd see if it could capture my heart, you know? Just because, like, we don't get to see all those character dynamics, you know? Because we're too busy with plot. So, like, it'd be fun to see how they all interact, you know? That's the fun thing about having, like, good characters is just, like, you don't even gotta do, they don't even have to be, like, doing plot to be worth watching a lot of the time. It's just, like, if, I, if you love a character enough, you can just, like, watch them, like, like, do the dishes. Like, I would love to watch Subaru just do the dishes. You know what I mean? Like, Subaru, are you washing the plate or are you going to wash the cup first? What are you going to do, Subaru? I need to figure that. You know what I mean? That sounds engaging. All right, episode three. Let's get going. Three, two, one, bang. Is that Mimi? It is Mimi. Chomp of love and passion. Oh, no. This one's going to hurt, bro. This one's going to hurt me. What is chomp? Is there going to be a love bite? I'm going to lose my mind if there's a love bite. Stop sniffing me. Yo, she did a backflip. Wait, she's kind of... Okay, okay, that was goaded. That was goaded. Wait, yeah, I forgot. I shipped Garfield and Ram. Wait, I forgot about that. I entirely forgot I shipped them too. I can't, Mimi, get out. Cause Mimi's trying to, they're both like 15 or some shit, right? So there's like, it. you tell him, you tell him, you tell him, you tell him. I don't know, I don't know what their dynamic is, right? I think they just, they're like best friends, question mark? I don't freaking know what to make of it. She's feeling it. She's feeling out the, the, the... I'm not a maid. I don't work here. Oh, bars, bars, bars. Oh my goodness, is she gonna bite him? I'm gonna lose my mind if she bites him. Not the backpack, bro. Oh! That's crazy, actually. Okay, she's freaking me out. Mimi, lock in. Mimi, no, no, stop that. That's a bit strange. Six in a row? The rumble, rumble, bang of passion. Bro, why did Mimi, Mimi is wanting a piece of the Garf pie, and it's a bit much. This, the, it, the, the biggering of the subtitles, that, that's a bit, Mimi, come on. I don't know, I don't even know what's going on there. And the sniffing, I don't have anything to say, chat. I don't I have nothing nice to say, so I will say nothing at all. Hm? How about we think about that for a minute? All right, all right. All right um, I think it's time for the episode, chat. I think it's time for the episode. I say chat. There's no chat. It's just me here. 
I'm alone. I'm alone in the room. He's going crazy. He's talking to a chat that's not even there. This guy's losing it. Okay. Um, five seconds scroll through. Just remember everything. Okay, Sirius. Sirius is hot. Um, Regulus doing his thing. Garfield and his mom. Mummy issues. Um, suffering, pain, Mimi. Clutch Mimi. You don't have to be the strongest any like right now. You don't have to put on the tough guy act Loki on the Schleezy. That's okay. Um, I'm gonna see some biscuits. It's really tasty. Oh, oh, Capetta, Capetta, Capetta is letting everybody know. Um, we're at the place. Our uh, super's leg is messed up. Everyone's everyone's hurt. Betty's out of commission. Felix is throwing it back. Boom, 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 boom. Um and we are getting everybody ready to start our invasion, basically, and make, make some moves happen. Garfield is torn between two worlds because of his mom, so he's going to go help his mom instead of help Super. All right, we're caught up. Let's go. Episode 4. 54. Season 3, episode 4. Let's get going. In. A 3, a 2, a 1. Bang! Okay, we're already in a predicament. We also got to find Otto. Remember, Otto was fighting on... Um... Or like was dealt dealing with uh that does back and back with that. Dang, wait, that one's kind of big. Dang, wait, Mimi has good Mimi has good um combat awareness. Okay, that is a woman. I think they're both woman. What? One engagement and we flee. Ooh, wait, Mimi's cooking with that. Wait, okay, Mimi. No, 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 don't, don't, no, no, no. Ah, uh, no, fine, fine, fine. Okay. I said okay, Mimi, and I was trying to check myself, but no, we can, we can cook, we can cook. Mimi can cook. Oh, they're gonna cut away to a different scene. It's over. It's over. They're baiting me. See, I knew they were baiting me. Ooh, what's going on in here? What are you doing? What is he doing? What is Heinz Ketchup doing? This guy is so the worst. This guy is such the worst. Felt does not crack under pressure, though. Okay. So that's where Felt was. I was curious where the two of them were. Okay, thank you, Subaru, for the exposition. Oh, yeah, because she wanted to get killed. So, of course, she has to be alive still. That makes sense. Okay, that makes sense. Thank you, Subaru. That's, I appreciate that. Look, Al's figuring it out. Okay, Al, cook, 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 cook. Okay, whom? Do we know who? No. But why would they even care? Crucial secret. Okay. Oh, true. I forgot he was part of the council. Good point. Good point. She did name drop. I forgot she name dropped. Okay, she's cooking. She she at least picked the right name. Why is Felix glowing? Sorry. <laughs> okay, he's just uh he's just zooming into the the meeting. Hey, is my camera working? <laughs> That's pretty funny. <laughs> Some things don't change. Oh, okay. No, I thought that, that's not Mimi. That's the other one. Like TT or Bleebly or whatever. 
Oh no, we're getting reports from everyone. Whoa, what happened? Oh. Oh, uh, Mimi's hurt. Mimi's hurt. Dry section. They have a wait. They have a. Okay, that's cool. That's a cool ability. They have like a triplet connection ability, bro. What is going on? Oh, it's just um, Lagunica de Yappen. Capella. I'm personally not a flutter, but I'll let it slide. Bro, Mimi's hurt right now. Garfield better be going crazy. Ah! Okay, I gotta calm down, guys. It's not that serious. It is that serious! Dude! Okay, how hurt is Mimi? We got healers. We got healers. Okay, well, we can't heal Garfield's psych, psych right now. Psyche. His psyche's a bit, a bit damaged, so we're gonna have to worry about that. It's fine. Felix is in the room. Felix is goaded. Uh, just kidding. This is bad. Is it like a special type of wound? Dude, Mimi got slashed down the middle, bro. Garfield, uh, it's gonna be okay. Garfield's gonna be okay. What are they doing in there? Does she have a chainsaw? My goodness. Okay, so a lot of people have already died, bro. Oh, it's this guy. Perfect. That's exactly who we needed to see. Tell me about the witch's remains. Oh my goodness. Otto got eaten. Where's Otto? Where's Otto? I mean, he's not eaten, but like, where is he? Bro, Garfield was overconfident and got somebody hurt. He's That's so bad for his psyche, bro. Uh. Can you tell me which? Which which? Sorry, that's funny. There's no way. Wait. What does that mean? Are they like in the very middle or something? The rich, which remains house, a special power. Yo, this is great. Yo, that's scary. Uh, flower crown. I think um the other the typhon. They, they didn't say yeah. Typhon wore a flower crown in the uh in season two. Okay, okay, okay. Woo! Okay, they did reveal it. They did reveal it. Garfield, it's gonna be okay. Look, they all took a little bit of damage. They spread the damage. It's called Divine Protection Triceptia or whatever. That's a really cool ability. Thank you, Ricardo. We don't blame you, Garfield. We appreciate you. It's not your fault, okay? <laughs> yes, Subaru! Exactly. He knows what to do, bro. He's just like, yeah, I need to kill all of them. Alright, let's make things happen. Thank you, Subaru. This sounds like something somebody else would say to Subaru in a previous arc, bro. What was that sound effect? Oh my goodness, they're doing 1v1 instead of 2v1. I mean, I guess you can, there's two of them, so like, that's how that works, but... Ooh! Ah! Through the sword. <laughs> oh my goodness, he's so debuffed right now. He's so debuffed psych psychologically, bro. Yo, four arms? Blue arms? 
Oh my goodness, Garfield. It's so bad for Garfield. Oh, it's going to break through and cut her. No, no, no. He said, get me out of dodge. <laughs> he said, run. Ah, Mimi block. <laughs> okay, good block though. She would have died if she didn't block them. I'm going to be real. Jeez. I don't think that, I think the man was also a woman. Unless their arms looked like, were, I thought they had breasts. But that's it's so besides the point. Who cares? Divine protection of the death god. Okay. Uh, hey, um, somebody explained the divine. Well, it, okay. Yeah, I, I kind of assumed the sword was special, but I guess it could have been a divine thing. No. There we go. Well, I like the mentality, but yeah. I like the mentality, but like, we gotta get you fighting without being having mental crises mid swing. But that's a good start, though. Oh, I didn't realize you already pulled up. You will be the wonder drug. I don't remember the terminology wonder drug, but all right, that's facts. Ow, ow. They're all looking at each other. I'm her knight, bro. Ooh, no, hey, what's your real? Okay, I actually, okay, okay, Subaru. Wait, are you, they think we're gonna, oh, okay, 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 okay. The government office were lost, that means there's a fourth group, right? Dang, Subaru, okay, that's kind of, goaded for him to be like, we're gonna have to pause on the Amelia. Like that's less, he's less um tunnel vision. But yeah, we are, we have like nobody right now. We are so hoed. All right. Okay, okay. A little Wilhelm tutoring. Yeah, that'll that'll make some moves. Oh, Al! Yes! Give me some Al action. What? 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 What, you can't fight? Oh, that's okay, fine. Yeah, I mean, it's kind of crazy because Subaru just said, like, I'm not gonna, like, I'm not gonna tunnel vision onto my girl. And he's like, I got bad news. I gotta go tunnel vision onto my girl. Yeah, yeah, that's... Okay, okay, Ricardo, Ricardo is kind of a hype man. I can appreciate a hype man. We all saw how hard you went. Yeah, that's, okay, that's a good line. All right, Ricardo, he's making moves, all right. Oh. Don't, why not tell him your name? Is it because of the ability is tied to names? That would maybe make sense. Or is it because like Subaru is kind of a big deal? Garfield's tightening up right now. Facts, yeah, yeah.
He's just trying to be nice, bro. Okay, we're jumping them. Okay, we we doom stack. We're just doom balling. Or death ball. Where we just uh, like seven of us just jump one of them over and over. That that sounds like kind of our play right here. I mean, we got a we got a lobby, all right. Wilhelm, Garfield, Subaru, Ricardo probably can fight. Julius, we've seen can fight. Krush maybe can fight. Excuse me. Why am I being kidnapped? Is he just a slow runner? <laughs> Ricardo's like, come on, you're too slow. Oh, his leg's hurt. His leg is hurt. All right, my fault. What are those? What are those? Huh? Okay, okay. 2v7. Like Surely we win this. Who are they? They're just random witch cultists. Or maybe they're maybe they're sin archbishops, actually. Okay. I feel overconfident right now, I feel like. Okay, that might be a dude after all. Ooh. Ooh, okay. Wait, so many, so many catches. What is going on? Oh, he caught two of them, okay. Uh, is that eight? Is that eight arms? He's an octopus, okay. The whip! Oh. Pairing the, the fire is crazy. How many arms is that? Is that six or eight? I can't... I'm bad at counting. Garfield, Garfield, don't... Oh, it's the dragon! The dragon's here! Is she speaking through its... Or no, I, I don't know. Is she using the metia? It kind of looks like she's talking out of the dragon. Well, she is. His tongue is waggling. Okay. Yeah, facts. Meow, 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 meow. Okay, I like the taunt. Nice, good, really good. True, bro. Dragon's supposed to be cooler than this. Man, can she, like, project into the things she dominates? You tell him. You tell him, Subaru. Yo! He's been charging some shit in the back. <laughs> <Yo>! <laughs> he was just yapping, bro. Okay. I feel like that's not gonna kill it. Yeah. Okay, blood though. Yo! It's got regen. That's sick. That's actually okay. That's goaded, bro. The eye, bro, hanging out. It's probably her authority that can do regen. Yeah. There's no way a, another event. Oh my goodness, we're doing another event. It's over. Bro, stop whipping that tongue out and like, eh, let it hang. I need you to walk in. We still, yeah, we still have our 2v7. Oh, 
Oh, is he going to the hostages? Oh my goodness, it's not a 2v7. We're splitting up. Guys, we were supposed to doom ball. He's off doing it. Okay. My goodness, we just split the party like 30 times. <laughs> Bro, the whip is getting so much use, bro. Subaru in his whip. Ow! Yeah, he's fine. He takes those. And we're dead. And we're dead? Uh, don't come out. Please don't. Okay. Okay. The other lie. Unless they did an outfit swap. No, I think it's the other one. The hair looks different. Okay, Subaru gotta know it's gluttony now, yep. Oh, don't lose your cool after you've helped Su after you've helped Garfield. It's the same thing. My dude, did you just say my dude? We don't have a good memory is really funny. We, good big big we. Roy Alfard. Oh, they got different names. Wait, they got different names. That that wasn't lie. That was a Roy. Oh my goodness. Okay, so you know the crazy thing that even if we win, let's say we win everything and Subaru doesn't die again, there's still so many people that are dead, right? And like. Technically, could Subaru not just like kill himself and like try to save people? You know, like, like I feel like we're starting to run into that point where it's like a perfect victory is so impossible that we're just hoed. Oh, we didn't get the OP this time, did we? Okay, okay. They're trying to give us every minute. I appreciate that, ReZero. But yeah, we're starting to run into that, like, for real, for real. Like, so many random guardsmen are dead. We have a regening dragon. I don't even know how you beat a regen dragon, bro. Well, that's kind of similar, actually, to um, Garfield's fight with Elsa. She had regen. Uh, we beat her by throwing a rock hippo onto her head. Oh, Capella, her big booty. Like, the things on her booty. Not, like, the things that she has on her butt. The big orbs. But, like, not her flesh. Uh, are probably those weird things that were... That we saw that had a bunch of blood around them. As opposed to somebody think that the two witches did. The two um, witch cult members. Bro, I need Reinhardt to stop having to mess around with Heinz Ketchup and get out here and help, bro. Heinz Ketchup is literally the worst kid character. I need to get him dealt with. Oh, are we going to get a post, -cre po uh, post, uh, post scene? Post scene? Post scene? Post scene? Who? The scallop. Oh, it's Amelia. Okay. <laughs> I thought it was like Satela for a half second. She's naked? That's creepy. That's so creepy, Regulus. Regulus stripped her, bro. Regulus, this isn't Riz. This is sexual harassment. <laughs> Who are you? Why am I naked? Uh, will you be my wife? That's crazy. Oh, he's hunting for virgins? Regulus, no! That's so weird! Uh, dude, no shot. No shot, bro. What? That's his- that's why he has- dude, that's why he's on number 79. He literally is just virgin hunting. Oh my, dude, Regulus. That's what, dude, I, oh, it's not, okay, that's so strange. It's not even about just you being hot superficially, it's about you being a virgin. 
Regulus, bro. That's so weird. That's so strange, bro. I that that ain't it, brother. That is not it. You can't be doing that, bro. That's so weird. He's greedy for virginities. That's what he's hunting for. He wants to he wants to gather virginities. He wants to just take as many as he can, bro. He just wants cherries, bro. That's weird. Regulus, you can't be doing that, bro. She is, though. I'm pretty sure. I'm like 99% sure she is. Unless Super and her were doing something crazy in that one-year gap. You know what I mean? Oh, Regulus, bro. That's why it's 78. And this is 79. You're being real with me? You can't be doing that. Oh, okay. Okay, Regulus. Okay. Okay. Wow, that's such a crazy line. That is such a crazy line. Bro, and she wakes up naked in bed. The crazy thing is that that means he had to strip her. Which is so weird, too, bro. This guy is such a problem. I mean, okay. He's a problem, but we there's a lot of problems, to be fair. He's he's not he's a unique he's a unique problem in a sea of problems right now. There's like 70 problems. Um, you know. We got like serious cutting people in half and well. I guess she had, she didn't get to do that this time, but like we got a lot of people doing a lot of things, right? This is really you. I was not expecting this to show up though. Oh man, man, it reminds me of a joke of uh, this is a crazy thing to bring up, but like the, the a joke of like like why like uh people that would like pay virgins to have sex that they like they they wanted to find virgins and then like be like hey how much is it gonna cost for me to like get your virginity you know. And it's like, why would you pay somebody that's a virgin? You're just gonna get the worst sex of their life. Like, like they're gonna have no idea what they're doing, bro. That's like the that's like the thing. It's like, why would you go? Like, they're not gonna know what they're doing. And I like, like, like I guess you could like, like, like. Oh my goodness, am I really gonna try to steal man the hunting for virginity's opinion? Is that really where we're at right now in life? Or it's like, like getting off to that specifically is just kind of wild, honestly. Like. It's like you're not like you're not supposed to kink shame. Like I don't kink shame, but like that's just a that's just an inefficient kink to have because it only works once on a person. You know, then you don't get to do it anymore because then they're not a virgin anymore. Like that is such a L kink just because it's like inefficient. All right, I'm not even gonna get into like weird things about like like idolizing innocence or like you know like the unspoiled pure fruit like that type of shit. That's a weird we way to like personify a human being. I think that's strange, right? I don't you know that probably has some like ripple effects on how you view humans as like kind of objectifying or some shit. I don't even need to get into any of that. Okay, that's a separate conversation. It's just inefficient, bro. Regulus, come on, like get over yourself and you'll have more fun. <laughs> you know what I mean? My goodness, what an insane way to end the episode, bro. It was like like action-packed episode, bunch of stuff happening, but now I'm just thinking about virginity. Like, can we not? Can we not? Right, dude. Okay, Mimi getting sliced like this is crazy. You know the really fun thing. This is very similar to Sirius. Her Mimi's divine protection with her her two siblings, where they share each other's wounds, is a good version of the empathy that Sirius is weaponizing. There are so many versions of that right now, bro. Like. What we were saying in the com like when we were looking at the comments with S Subaru and his like his uh his ultimate defense ability with with Betty that they like that they came up with that is like a variant of Regulus's ability right where it's like super defensive and it's like a barrier or some shit right so it's like the barrier ability which for Regulus is like like hoity toity super like self aggrandizing like in a in a kind of negative connotation is being repurposed as a positive thing with Super and Betty. And maybe you could argue that's because there's two of them. So it's not just like narcissistic in the way that with um, Regu Regulus, it's it's narcissistic. It's like all self, it's like completely greedy, you know? But with, with Super and Betty, they're protecting each other with that, right? Um, or like, I, I assume I assume they're protecting each other. I assume they're both kind of vital for that that spell to work. So it's not narcissistic, but it's like that same idea of like a a, a, a defensible barrier, right? So it's like, we're seeing so many parallels between characters, which I really, really like because it makes these things nuanced. It makes them not one dimensional, right? Because if we, it's kind of, I, I feel like I was saying this with Sirius where it's like, empathy isn't a bad thing, but she's weaponizing it, right? And that's so cool because it, it makes it more nuanced, right? It's, it's not that 
empathy is bad and that sharing pain is bad because Sirius is weaponizing it. So she's using it in like an evil way, but that's not a bad thing. And an example of it not being a bad thing to share each other's burdens is that it literally saved Mimi's life, right? The divine protection that she has with her siblings saved her life, right? And it's the exact same ability that Sirius has. And that is so cool. I, I, I feel like you could probably keep doing that, bro. Who else could you even do that with? I don't even know who you could do that else with off the, off the top. Well, I need to grab um, um, the other lie's name. Rory Alfard? What? I thought they would both have the same last name. Why do they got different last names, bro? Or are they just coming up with different names each time because they keep forgetting their real name? They did say they had a bad memory. It'd be really funny if they were just like making shit up every time, right? But no, I assume it's I assume it's just they have different names. Um, oh my goodness, my hair is bothering me so much. Can we just like get this out of here? Thank you. Anyways, though, that's that's such a cool like uh, they're like foiling each other. You know what I mean? She really yells heave ho to do her block. That's a crazy block. But yeah, um, Garfield, we got it. I'm good. Okay, Garfield, I'm not trying to get on to you, bro, especially because this is the incident that like got Mimi cut and like that's really hurting you right now. But we got to increase your sprint time, bro. This is not the sprint we're looking for. All right, I'm going to be real. If I'm being chased by witch cultists and I got Mimi in my hands, Mimi is getting thrown. All right, Mimi is getting thrown like a football. All right, I'm getting a, a million points off of that. You know what I mean? Uh, also... I want to look at the um, right here. So this is crazy. I thought these were breasts. These are arms. That's really funny to me. These are their, so I think they have four arms that are permanent and then they can make two more appear. Something like that. Or maybe they have six and, uh, and the two that were on their back, they just had hidden like behind their back or something. You know, how many do they have? I think they have six. Dude, this, this whip is so goofy. Look at the tip of the whip. Why is the tip of the whip just like a bloopy little blob? This is great. One, two, three, four. I think there's six of them. But yeah. um, So that's that's funny. That's a funny misinterpretation I had. Oh, the eggs, the eggs, the eggs, the eggs. Um, Is there a better view of the eggs? I feel like right when they walked up was the best view of the eggs. What are those about? I mean, there's these are definitely... So I think they are on, what are they doing, bro? I mean, they got blood everywhere. I assume that these were placed on corpses, right? Am I crazy for that? Like that they killed a bunch of people outside or they got to a, like a bunch of like guard corpses, probably the same corpses that Garfield and Mimi saw, right? I assume this is the same location roughly. Um, that is a bit of assumption just because the two, the two witch cult people are here, right? Which by the way, surely they're archbishops, right? They're way too strong to just be random witch cultists. I mean, who else could it be? Um, gluttony we've dealt with, greed we've dealt with, lust we've dealt with, sloth we've dealt with, wrath we've dealt with. So envy, but I feel like the witch arch, the sin archbishop for envy is not going to show up. So pride, um, pop pride, vainglory, melancholy. Sure, these like if they're if they are archbishops, they gotta be pride, vainglory, or melancholy. Um, I could see. I could see either as vainglory or pride. I couldn't really see either as melancholy, but I, 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 they might not even be archbishops, bro. I mean, to be fair, we haven't really seen um, like authorities being used. We've just seen swordsmanship and like magic and stuff. Mostly swordsmanship. I don't think they've cast a spell. They've just been like parrying magic or like doing the arm stuff. So actually they probably aren't archbishops. They're just really special witch cultists, right? I'm very curious about them then. It's a very interesting position. But yeah, the eggs. Um, I assume that these were placed onto, that this is like, I assume this is Lust's ability that she is taking the corpses of all the, a bunch of guards or something, hence all the blood, and is like feeding on them. The tentacles are freaking me out, right? Is this, what are they doing? I mean, they look like eggs, so I assume that each one would birth into something. Maybe like, maybe she's like summoning monsters or like creating monsters, or maybe she's like, I don't know, making all these like corpses into her subjects in some kind of way. I mean, that could be a lot of stuff. Or because they're all tentacles, maybe they're all like individual feeding tubes that are going into one being, right? Like underneath the city. Maybe she's like cooking something underneath the, the capital or something, right? Um, it's also notable that we went to the government building where the Metia is, as opposed to any of the four 
posts on the ends, which means we got lust here and we got these two here. All right. And then we got, we got, um, Regulus at one of the other ones. We got Sirius at one of the other ones and we got, and then lies one of the, uh, freaking Roy Alphard is here. So maybe one of the lies is at the other one. Who's at the fourth one, bro? And that's a maybe on the lie. I kind of assume that lie is connected to Roy and they wouldn't be far apart. So we have like one, maybe two of the four posts that are either undefended, have been taken by other witch cultists, or there are other archbishops at play. That's really scary. That's really scary. I mean, Carmilla is, or Capella, sorry. Carmilla is uh, the, the, sin, the witch of lust. Um, Capella does have her like, monster ability it seems right she's controlling a dragon so she could have just sent things to go to this right um i but i kind of assume that each one has like a, a rather important figure at it but yeah this duo is crazy i need to see them get de-hooded bro i need their hoods to get ripped off in one of these fights so that we can see who they are yeah this was a good fight though. I enjoyed I enjoyed all the, the, the swordsmanship, bro. Ricardo is also I, I remember really getting onto Ricardo, mostly because he's like a like a hunk furry, and that just is like not at all my energy. Uh, uh, Ricardo, I'm gonna have to let say cooked on this. Alright, he was I, I appreciate some Ricardo action here, okay? He was a hype man, and I always am gonna have to appreciate a hype man. Um he was hyping up Garfield, you know, good howl, good energy, let's make make stuff happen. And then over here, he was saying like, you're kind of our guy. We all saw how hard you went. That's absolutely a Ricardo W, all right? I'm, listen, I'm biased, but I'm not blind. So yeah, <laughs> Garfield smiling over here. It's also crazy, bro. We 7v2'd them, made no progress in our first attack. And then we separated out to, because of the hostages. That sucks so bad. And who's dealing with the dragon right now? Oh, did the dragon fly away? Oh, she left as the dragon. Okay, she said, I'm out this hoe. Okay, bet, 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 bet. Um, so yeah, it's Wilhelm, Garfield, Ricardo. Is that all that's left to go fight this? Dude, this was crazy. By the way, this shot went crazy, dude. The hanging eyeball is nuts. It's like a spaghetti noodle being sucked into someone's mouth. That is so goaded. What a great dude. What a great little scene. She's so troll. Stop, stop doing this. Stop doing this. All right. She's literally like, eh, like, stop. Okay. Sorry. We got to lock in. All right. Um, I like this episode a lot though. This was a good episode. If every episode is like this, then this season is about to go so hard, bro. I feel like it's already so action-packed, so much stuff is happening, so many, like, nukes are being dropped. Bro, I haven't even at all talked about, I think, Typhon's corpse. Typhon, by the way, is my favorite of the witches, okay? I've said that before, I'll say it again. Where was that? Dude, because that was Typhon because the flower crown. And, and, and Al said it. Al said it. Like, what happened when Typhon was drowned, eh? So, yeah, we've confirmed this as Typhon. Um, visually and uh, um, through speech, um, which makes me wonder what trapped Minerva and she went insane from her trap. That's kind of a interesting situation. Also that information we were given, how true even is it? Who gave, I don't even remember who gave us that information. Um, well, cause that was cut content that I just read, right? So I don't, I don't know who gave that, right? If it was Echidonia, like she's probably yapping, but oh my goodness. So what even happened to Typhon, bro? Was Typhon doing a bunch of evil stuff when she was walking around? Like, this is so crazy because I thought Satela, like, we were told that Satela killed all of them, but Satela didn't kill Typhon. Typhon got drowned. So why did they drown? So the question is why? Why did they, why did they capture Typhon in a bunch of this, like, crazy rock, this, like, rock trap and then, like, drown her? That is such a, wait, wait, did I just put something together? No, I didn't. Dang. I, well, one thought I just had is like, could we drown Regulus, right? Because Regulus's ability, maybe it doesn't block water, um, in which case he could drown. We could drown him. Um, but how would we capture him? I don't know if we could capture him. Well, we could capture him with um, Subaru's um, Authority of Sloth, because his Authority of Sloth can touch Regulus. We saw it in the flashback 
um, Beetle Goose, use it on Regulus and like do a lot of damage, but Regulus just kind of shrugged it all off because Regulus was said like, that ain't me, man. Like, oh, you're touching me? I have a right against being touched. That's assault. That's battery. You can't be doing that, okay? That's, that's Regulus, right? But if we just hold Regulus underwater and drown him, what is he supposed to say to the water? You're not allowed to drown me? Brother, the water doesn't care. It's a force of nature, all right? Is Regulus immune to, immune to fall damage? Hmm? We invisible hand push him off of a building? And then he's like, what are you going to say to the... Like, yeah, you can not You can get mad at, at Subaru for pushing you, but it's the invisible hand, so we already know that bypasses. What, you're going to say to gravity that you're, like, um, mad at it? Like, maybe that's a way to kill Regulus, right? That we just have to use... We have to, like, drop a rock on him. Because it's like he can't get mad. He can't tell the rock that he's immune to rocks. Well, maybe he could, though, actually. That's actually um, not necessarily true. Because he has a barrier. It just depends what 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 in and what does it, what goes in and out of the barrier. I think gravity could work, but eh. I'm just yapping. Who even knows, bro? Oh my goodness, she died with the flower crown. This is such a crazy shot, bro. This is such a crazy shot. I like. I need to know why they wanted to kill Typhon. What did Typhon do when she was alive? Because I, Typhon's my favorite. She was so interesting, bro, in the witch's tea party. And she's just a kid, bro. Isn't she just like some like 12 year old or some shit? Why did we, what? I need, I need to know her story, bro. Ah, oh, man, this show has so much lore. I love it when the lore is interesting enough that I want to learn about it, bro. Like I need to know what happened to Typhon. In like Pandora, like that's the crazy thing, bro. All these answers probably, ha or all these questions probably have like really interesting answers, but we just don't know. Oh my goodness, bro. Oh, it's so good. It's so good, bro. Um, yeah, poor Garfield, by the way. This sucks for Garfield. Um, that's just unfortunate for Garfield. Uh, why? Okay. And then one of these witch cultists have like a, a divine protection of the god of death? What are you talking about? Felix is like, this isn't even fair. <laughs> is there just immune to being healed? Yeah. Oh my goodness. And Reinhard... I literally, remember I asked last episode, we need to know where Reinhardt is because Reinhardt is so OP that he can just fix problems. His dad is here to just be a dick and stop that from happening. That's just so crazy. And what, what does Felt say to him? Felt just spits, bro. That's all talk just to scare you. No need to worry. I mean, to be fair, Felt does have divine protection of wind. I mean, she does have a sword to her throat, but like low key, she do be kind of speedy with it. And like... I assume that she's been tutored a little bit by Reinhardt on how to use divine protections because he's probably like the leading world expert on how to like properly use divine protections considering that he has like 300,000 of them. So for Felt to have one, like he's probably helped her out with that. She really feel like a royal though. Bro, Felt for president. She's 100% the, the best presidential pick. I'm voting for Felt. She doesn't crack under any pressure. Look at her, bro. And she's maybe part of the royal family. Yes, get her in here. She can go fight Capella. I'm down. Also, Mimi completely was right, bro. How does Mimi so good at telling... Bro, Mimi got battle intellect. That's battle IQ right there. That she was able to look at him and be like, okay, Garfield, we are outmatched. And Garfield was like, no, 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 no. I'm strong. I'm strong. I promise. Let me fight them. Garfield, I know you're insecure about your strength, but like... You know what I mean? I don't know. That just sucks for Garfield, bro. It just does. Mimi's like, fine, fine, we'll just do one one engagement, fine, if that gets us out of here. Oh man. Yeah, Mimi really got hoed, bro. I love that ability though, their their try their try protection ability. That's so cool. That is such a cool ability. Anyways, anyways. Um, dude, so much happened this episode. Okay, um Seeing you walk normally like this, it looks like you're doing fine. That's kind of facts. Subaru is really tanking this wounded leg. He's like literally still leaking blood. Whoa, you know what's crazy? It makes him look like Sirius, bro. Him and Sirius have a design similarity now. Sirius is covered completely in bandages, and now Subaru has a bandage because of his fight with Sirius. Well, to be fair, it was actually Regulus that did the damage to him. Um, it was Sirius that then projected that damage onto everyone. But, but that's kind of cool. He has a design similarity to Sirius now. That's what I'm saying, bro. They love making 
similarities between the antagonists and the protagonists. I mean, another great example of that, going off the thing I was saying from earlier, is Subaru has the ability, has the authority of Sloth. He uses invis the invisible hand that Beetle Goose uses. I mean, that is a very direct thing, right? Like, there are so many examples of that in this show, and that, that's one of my favorite things they do, bro, which is part of why I am so intrigued. What did they, why did they want to kill Typhon? I kind of assume that the witches aren't even that evil. I kind of assume that, okay? I mean, literally, Satela specifically said, like, please kill me. Like, that's literally what she said to Subaru, you know? And, like, she uh, supposedly had went insane from the from the, the witch factor. So, are they victims? Are they victims of some crazy uh, attack? Or, like, some cra like, those crazy forces, right? Is that how we view them? What is evil but madness? If we weren't mad, we would all be good. Okay, that's a nice little thesis. I can work with that thesis, okay? That like evil action isn't even evil as much as it's just like insane, you know? And so in that case, evil people are just victims of being insane. But we still should treat them as evil people, all right? Like we still got to deal with them. That doesn't excuse, that, do that explains it doesn't excuse, you know what I mean? Like we still got to like kill them, you know what I mean? Oh, no, you're a victim of your circumstances. Like, okay, I'm still going to stab you. Like, I, that doesn't bother me personally. But I like thinking about it like that way, you know? Um, what else? What else? Dude, good episode. Um, this is so funny, too. That, like, ah, uh, Subaru and Gluttony. My dude. You can't be my duding. I'm fine with how Subaru has dealt with this, actually. Subaru is kind of cooking, I'm not gonna lie. Because even with, like, even with all the, the rage, he still says this next line. I can still forgive you, but if. So he's still, like, it's not on site for Subaru. Now it's gonna be on site for Subaru. But, like, it wasn't on site. It was, like, I can still, like, like explain yourself, or I'm gonna kill you. And then they're, like... I'm the guy, you know, so now Super is gonna be on site, but like that's fine. At this point you should we should fight Gluttony. Oh no, Super's gonna lose. <laughs> I feel like there was an, another piece of information that was dropped that I've forgotten. Let me um look at the uh, subtitles. Uh, I feel like it was in here. I mean they were they were they were giving spitting a bit of philosophy of like gluttonous hedonism almost. Right? Like to feel happiness, that's the reason you need to eat and drink in excess. The longer you wait for something, the longer you go hungry, the more delicious the first bite tastes. They're just saying like, oh, this is about a smack. That's really what they're saying. They're saying like, I'm about a feast. That's a crazy thing to say. Um, hmm, it kind of ends right there. Dude, Subaru's whip is killing me, bro. I've said it like 30 times, but the whip is such a random thing for Subaru to have gotten good at. You know what I mean? Like, that's so random to get good at the whip, bro. We, I feel like, I feel like, like, there was, like, a dartboard that had all the different weapons, and they just, and the, the author just threw a, like, blindfolded himself and just threw a dart at it, and it hit whip. And that was, like, in the absolute corner, bro. That's so funny. I guess, you know, I, at least he's developing his skills, though. I mean, Super is, at this point, he, he walked into the story so underpowered, um... So it's nice that he has like some skills to be cooking with. I actually like Capella too more, by the way. I liked Capella with the dragon. It's so troll, but like I gotta appreciate it a little bit. I think she, like she's like manic pixie girl a little bit. Manic dream pixie girl, manic pixie dream girl. That's it. Manic pixie dream girl. She's like that type of energy, you know. Um, and I gotta give that a little bit of approval. It's not at all my energy, right? But I, I can appreciate it, like, aesthetically. And she's like, dang, you smell kind of crazy, not gonna lie. Also, the, the stall tack, good good tactic, Subaru. Good good tactic, Subaru. Yeah. All right, anyways, I think that's pretty much the TLDR of this um, of this episode, yeah? Um, Regulus virgin hunting is crazy. Wasn't on my, wasn't on my, uh, my bingo card. It really wasn't. Um... Wilhelm making moves, everybody making moves, learning about uh, Typhon's corpse, which, wait, what happens if it, the damage would rival that of the time the city was flooded to kill the witch? Oh, so if we try to, uh, why do they want Typhon's corpse though, bro? That is so intriguing to me. 
I wouldn't mind if we revive Typhon. I want Typhon to walk the earth just so I can figure out what she does. I need to know more about this 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 child. That's not wrong of me to want to know more about, okay? Anyways, um My goodness, Regulus. Anyways, that's all I got for this episode, y'all. On to the next episode of five of Re I see a row. Should be exciting. Of course, of course, of course. If you like the video, like the video, subscribe. If you're new, blah, blah, blah. Comment below if you have anything to say or join the Discord and talk to my other ReZero fans there. But until then, until the next episode, that's all I got tonight. I will be seeing you then.